All right, what's going on? Well, as you saw from our last video, uh, we had just finished installing the uh, rear Rocket Bunny diffuser. And uh, well, today we're gonna be tidying up the rest of the rear end, minus the taillights, because the body shop still hasn't finished this uh, lower taillight trim piece. I'm gonna do a full video on the, my experiences with this body shop, so that'll go towards the end of the build though. Uh, but today, what we're installing is, well, obviously, as you can tell from the title, we are installing this bad boy. The Battle Arrow Chassis Mounted Wing. Spoiler, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so yeah, I've already pretty much, I mean, kind of assembled it. I mean, they're loosely tightened on. So now what we're going to do is, once Mark gets here, we're gonna, I'm going to have him help me lift it up and then uh, slot it in. It slots in to where the factory crash beam would have gone. So yeah, once Mark gets here, I'm gonna need him to help me lift that thing up, slide it in. It's a, it's kind of a tight fit, so we're gonna have to like give us some love taps to get in, and then uh, we're gonna have to figure out how far it goes in because it does rub against the Rocket Bunny rear diffuser. So we're gonna have to trim a little bit of it uh, in order for that little bar down there to go flush, or as flush as you know it's meant to be. So yeah, uh, I think I hear Mark pulling up right now actually, so I'm going to go ahead and put this phone down and then I'm going to get him to come over here and help me pick this thing up. Alright, so Mark's here. We mounted up the wing-ish. Uh, it, it does stick out about two inches, so we went ahead and measured how much we need to cut off on both sides. So now, more cutting of this brand new fucking bodywork. So, alright, get to work Mark. I don't want to cut. I always cut. I drilled. We have the wing, and well, about to install it. Hey, what time, bitch? That good? That's no. Uh, it looks good. See. Yeah, you're good. So yes, yeah, this good this thing had to be fucking hammered in. Like we were trying for a good while to like try to shove it in, and then did you tell them how we got it out the first time? So when we first mocked it up, we didn't get anywhere near this, and then so we tried to get it out, we couldn't. So not by four, not by, not by I don't have human it. standards. <laughs> so I had to grab my forklift, which I don't have right now. I let somebody borrow it. Uh, so pretty much somebody had to hold the car down and we had to pull it. This is before the body work. I tested it when it was factory. And so we attached a chain to this and we had to yank it out with a forklift. But yeah, this thing ain't coming out now. So now we're going to do is we're going to take off this thing to get to a trunk. To go ahead and uh, we had to, we had to mount trim, the bolt holes. We had to trim these too. Oh yeah, I mean, as we said, we trimmed these and Mark measured it damn near precise. So... Oh yeah, I took way too much off the bottom. Nah, nah. Fuck it. it gives us some wiggle room if we ever need it to like, kind of, you know, shake it out. Yeah. But let's be real, this thing's never coming out ever again. <laughs> like, yeah, it sits in there. I don't, I don't even know how I would get it out. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this down and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now we have the wing mounted down with the supplied uh, hardware. It's in the trunk. So now what we're gonna do is, well, drill some more shit. <laughs> so we uh, we couldn't find an exact way to mount the tension cables, you know, on this wing. So what Mark decided to do is we went out to Home Depot. We got some uh, quarter inch bolt eye bolts. Eye bolts. Eye bolts. And then now Mark is about to drill a hole into this so that way we hook the eye bolts and then we loop the tension cables through there. 
so yep let me uh let me put this phone down so i can help him shoot some wd-40 on this drill bit and uh yeah i'll show you what we do when we get back What? Okay, so we kind of test fit it and then we were looking at the instructions. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure this out from here to here once you have the tension bar in. Uh, then what they recommend is that you tighten it up until it sinks in about half an inch. So that way when you tighten this in, the wing moves this way about half an inch and then that way when you tighten it up from right here and then you slowly release it, that way it's tightened up for sure. Okay, so now what he's about to do is he's going to go ahead and uh, he attached one of the little crimps that comes supplied with the kit. He's going to go ahead and loop it around one of the eye bolts. I hope to stab myself. Without stabbing yourself, preferably. Kind of close it up. And then, uh, actually, hold on, let me go get the crimps for him. I'll be right back. Okay, got the crimps, and now he's about to crimp it down. Hopefully it works, because these aren't the right ones for the tool. Ow! Okay, there we go. All right, good. It ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but good enough for government work. Throwback. Yeah, right. All right, so now what we're going to do is just going to take the end of this tension cable and another thing in the jigger right down there. Alright, for the second part down here, you're going to need a second set of hands for sure. Uh, we didn't have a set, but if you have a set of vice grips, that'll be much better. But if not, grab somebody, get them to grab on this end with the pliers and pull as tight as they possibly can. And then as you or the other person go ahead and starts to crimp the little bracket in there that supplied. Then you're going to go ahead and want to snip the, ex the excess as Mark is doing. Just so as I'm attempting to do. Attempting. Oh, there, we there we go. Then hopefully they give you enough and then we're gonna go ahead now do the X. Oh you shouldn't go before or after of the Oh yeah. Flex. Oh yeah. It's definitely uh I guess I should have Mark was right we should have did it before but well we still can technically could but it's hot and we both want to get out of here. Yeah. So before, without the tension rod or the tension cables, the wing would just go like this. And now, the whole car moves. So, yes. So pretty much once you finish uh, locking it up, you're going to go ahead and take the two nuts and uh, loosen it up to wind back out the wing to put even more tension on it. And then, uh, yeah, just fully lock down your tension bar. Uh, the one thing I didn't show with the uh, tension bar was that it actually came super long. Oh. You had to cut it. Oh wow. So what I had done was I had measured it out to how about how long this nut was, taped it off, and cut at the edge of that nut right about here. And this is what you're left with. And yeah, uh, we actually did a little test without it. It's actually still pretty stable. Uh, it had a little bit of flex in it. But with this tension bar, it completely takes out the flex and pretty much the whole chassis moves like it's supposed to. So yeah. Up to you if you want to use this. I say use it. It's given to you for a reason. But... If you're a drifter, who cares? There you go. The Battle Arrow chassis mounted wing. Uh, yeah, so... Is this good shameless advertising? Yeah, Sonic. What's up? 130 degree weather in this fucking warehouse. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close, people. How come uh, Boston and Tell the Bio went up front? Yeah. 
So I don't know what we'll tackle next. Maybe the motor. We can get started on that. Maybe we'll do a little bit of refreshing. The water pump and oil pump needs to be changed. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. So the diffuser, the brakes, and now the wing. Until next time, guys. Later. Bye. Hot.